Hi friends, welcome back. And if this is your first visit, welcome to my happy home. I'm so happy that you can join me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. If you've been following me on Instagram and seeing my previous DIY videos, then you know that I am falling in love with this farmhouse style. I've been trying to incorporate some touches of farmhouse into my decor because I truly love the vintage and the rustic look of it. I completely fell in love with these decorative windows that I saw on Pinterest. I've been seeing some different styles and I truly love them. In today's video I'm sharing with you a DIY of how I create one of these decorative windows for in my home decor. As I said before I am not a big DIYer so I wanted to create something that was really simple and very easy to do. If you are interested in seeing how I create my decorative farmhouse style window, then keep on watching! For this project I'm going to be needing a pencil, a handsaw and a measuring tape. And I am using two different sizes of wood boards. I already measured out the space where I'm going to hang my decorative window so here I'm just measuring out the wood planks to match the space. Because of the sawing the edges are a little bit rough so I'm just sanding them down a little bit to give them the smooth finish. Now I'm laying the wooden boards down in the shape that I want. I want this project to be quick and easy I am securing the intersections with some tiny screws and you guys you can easily glue down this as well but it just takes a little bit more time for the glue to dry. Now that the window is done I can go ahead and do the painting and you guys I always love to use my multi-purpose acrylic white primer because I can use this as a base but also as a finish. Now to create the vintage and distressed look I am going in with my grey structure paint in a cement look. And what I love about this paint is that it has a rough finish. Now while my window is drying I am going to create a wreath to hang on my window and for that I am using this embroidery hoop that I got on sale for only 50 cents. What I love about these embroidery hoops you guys is that you actually have two hoops you can work with. But unfortunately I couldn't remove the linen from the inner part so I will use that for another project. Since this embroidery ring has two colors on the in and on the outside, I'm going in with some off-white acrylic paint, just a little bit to create a more even look. It only took the paint a few minutes to dry, so now I'm going in with some foliage that I had lying around and some flowers to create my wreath. I don't want to make my projects very permanent because I like to reuse my items so I'm going in with this uh, metal bendable wire to attach the foliage and the flowers to the hoop.
Now that my wreath is done and that my window is dry, I can go ahead and secure the wreath to the window. And to secure it, I am also going in with the bendable metal wire. And this is the finished result. I am truly loving how this turned out. And I also created this wooden crate. I will leave a link of that video in the description box and in the iCard as well if you are interested. But anyway, this is my farmhouse style window wall decor. You guys, I hope that I could have inspired you and given you some ideas on how to create something for your own decor. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video be doing a home tour after this video so I can show you how I styled my home with the touches of farmhouse that I've been creating. If you like this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and you guys I always love to know what you think so leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you all so so much for taking the time to stop by and watch my video and I hope to see you again in my next one. Bye!